Hey guys, it's Katie. I'm the producer of this recipe, and this is Carly. Hi. She uh, is the food specialist who helped develop this recipe. Yeah. So we're gonna give you guys some tips today. Uh, something that you might wanna do is make this vegan. So Carly, how would we make this recipe vegan? So to make this recipe vegan, you're already almost all the way there. What you wanna do is make sure you're definitely using vegetable stock in lieu of chicken stock and omitting the chicken completely, replacing it with your favorite vegan protein of choice. Oh great, or you just you could have no protein. Right, or you could go no protein, absolutely. Awesome, and then what's something that you might wanna look out for, like some tricky areas? Sure, so when you're whisking the flour into the oil, shallots, and garlic, you wanna make sure that you're really making sure that you're breaking up any clumps. This is going to prevent you getting any raw pieces of flour that go uncooked. And then my last question is, if you don't like coconut milk, this doesn't taste coconutty, but if you wanted to use something else? Um, any dairy-free milk alternative of your choice is gonna work great here. So if you prefer almond milk, mm -hmm. that's gonna be a great option, cashew milk, etc. cetera. Um, the reason I chose coconut milk here was because of the higher fat content, which is going to lend itself to a more traditional, okay. really thick, creamy Alfredo sauce. Yeah, which this really does taste like Alfredo. Yeah, it is really Don't tasty. skimp on the garlic. Don't skimp on the black pepper, and definitely add the lemon juice. It is, it. it rounds out the flavor. You need that acid. Yeah, you really do. Okay, great, well, uh, we hope you enjoy that recipe. Yeah, good luck. Bye.